stop writing fragile scraping scripts. Imagine an AI workforce that extracts data from any website 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's Browser Act, a no-code platform where you simply describe what you want in plain English. Our AI agents navigate the web like a human, intelligently bypassing anti-bot measures and delivering clean, structured data directly into your workflow. This turns weeks of manual work into minutes. Let's see how it's done. When you first log in to Browser Act, you'll land here in the Agents section. You'll also see workflows for creating more advanced automations and the Template Marketplace, which has pre-built workflows. Further down, you'll find Integrations, an API and others. To get started, we'll click the plus create button. We'll name our agent Bitcoin Price Tracker, then click create. On the command screen, I'll give the agent its task to track the live price, daily change, and market cap for Bitcoin on Yahoo Finance. Next, we'll configure the agent. We'll use the GPT-4.1 mini model, which is best for simple, consistent data extraction. Then, in Agent Settings, we'll set the temperature. This is a key setting that controls the AI's creativity. A low value from 0 to 0 0.3 gives maximum consistency, which is perfect for our task. Higher settings allow for more flexibility. We'll set ours to 0 0.2 for the best result. Then we simply go to the Run tab, type our instruction into the prompt box, and click Send. Here on the left, you can see the process and the steps the AI is taking in real time. And when it's done, you can see the summary in the Output tab and download the final data file. Once everything is ready and you've reviewed the data, you can click Mark as done to complete the task. Now, let's look at the more powerful workflow method. First, we'll click Create, name our new workflow, and land on the visual canvas. Before we build, let's quickly review the tools in the Node Action Library. Visit page tells the browser which website to go to. Click element is for clicking any button or link. Input text, lets you type into a search bar or a form. Scroll page is used to scroll down and load more content. Pagination is for automatically clicking through multiple pages. Loop repeats actions for every item in a list. And extract data pulls the specific information you need. Okay, let's build our example workflow. We're going to create a reusable tracker that can get data for any cryptocurrency. First on the canvas, we'll configure the input parameters node. Here, we'll add two variables target URL with the base Yahoo Finance address, and ticker symbol with a default value of BTC USD. Now let's build the steps. We'll click the plus icon and add a visit page node. Inside, we will use the special parameter menu. First, we'll type a slash and select the target URL parameter. Then we'll type another slash and select the ticker symbol. The system will then combine these automatically to build the full address. After that, we'll add an extract data node and give it our command. Finally, to ensure a clean result, we add the finish output data node and set the format to JSON. Crucially, it is very important that the output as a file checkbox is left unchecked. This sends the raw data directly to make. With the workflow built, we'll click publish and go to the run tab. We'll run it with the Bitcoin. You can then easily see the process in real time as the agent works through its steps. And after the task is complete, you can see the JSON format output, which contains the clean, structured data for all the cryptocurrencies it extracted. Finally, let's put our workflow on autopilot using make.com. First, back in Browser Act, go to the Integrations and API section to get your API key. 
You can also click the link here to get started with the integration. This is how we turn a powerful scraper into a fully automated business process. Now here in a new make.com scenario, we'll start by adding our first module. We'll search for and add the browser act module. From the list of actions, we'll choose run a workflow and connect our account with the API key. Next, we select our crypto price tracker workflow. You can see the parameter fields for the target URL and ticker symbol. You can either provide new values here or leave them blank to use the defaults we set up earlier. Now, to make sure the connection is working, we'll click run once. After it runs successfully, we'll add our next step, the JSON module, and choose the parse JSON action. Here, in the JSON string field, we will paste the sample data that we copied earlier from our successful workflow run inside the Browser Act platform. This will allow Make to understand the data structure. We'll add the Google Sheets module and choose the Add a Row action. After connecting our account and selecting our spreadsheet, the module will show the columns we created. Now, we simply map the data. We'll drag the current price from the JSON module into our price column, the day change into our change column, and the market cap into our market cap column, and so on for all the other fields. Once everything is mapped, our full automation is built and ready to run. We can see each module execute successfully. And just like that, the data extracted by BrowserAct is now in our Google Sheet, completely automatically. A perfect working automation.